Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurifa Nadira binti Muhammad Zain. Today, I want to talk about black holes. First of all, I want to show you guys how do black holes looks like. So, this is black holes. A black hole is a region in space where the pulling force of gravity is so strong that light is not able to escape. The strong gravity occurs because matter has been placed into a tiny space. This compression can take place at the end of a star's life. Some black holes are a result of dying stars. Because no light can escape, black holes are invisible. However, space telescopes with special instruments can help find black holes. They can observe the behavior of material and stars that are very close to black holes. Black holes can come in a range of size, but there are three main types of black holes. The black hole's mass and size determine what kind it is. Next, who discovered black holes? Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. So actually, how does the black hole get formed? Basically, it happens where the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself, it causes a supernova or an exploding star that blasts part of the star into space. Most black holes are formed from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion and even bigger black holes can be formed from a stellar collisions. So let's watch a short animation video on how the black holes actually get formed. Now we're gonna see the three characteristics of black hole, which is mass, spin, and electric charge. Normally, astronomers will measure these three characteristics to classify all the black hole. So these black hole are classified to four types. And now we're gonna see what types are those and the comparison with the sign. Stellar. Stellar is 10 to 100 times mass of the sun. Intermediate, hundreds to thousand mass of the sun. Supermassive, this is a really big one. Millions to billions mass of the sun. And this one, this is a smaller one. Miniature, which is 1 to 10 mass of the sun. Can you believe that? Black hole is such a big hole. What would happen if we fell into a black hole. Of course, no matter what type of black hole that you fell into, you are ultimately going to get torn apart by the extreme gravity. No material, especially fleshy human bodies, could survive in this. So once you pass beyond the edge of the event horizon, you are done. There's no getting out. Even if you were still alive, you have to travel faster than the speed of light in order to escape. But as we know, nothing in the known universe that can do that. Besides that, if you flew closer to this train spot, you had been stretched in some directions and squished in others. A process that scientists call spaghettification. This is because the big hole's gravity compresses your body horizontally while pulling it like toffee in the vertical direction. If you jump into the black hole feet first, the gravitational force on your toes will be much stronger than that pulling on your head. Each bit of your body will also be illuminated in a slightly different direction. You will literally end up looking like a piece of spaghetti. So I will continue by sharing the latest discovery about black hole. This is the latest article that I took from the NASA official website. The title was, uh, Mini Jet Found Near Milky Way Supermassive Black Hole.
uh, I would read uh, some of the important part using the European Southern Observatory, very dash telescope as well as have, have discovered a small black hole outside the Milky Way by looking at how it influences the motions of stars in its close vicinity. This is the first uh, time uh, this detection method has been uh, used to reveal the presence of a black hole outside of our galaxy. The method could be uh, key uh, to unveiling hidden black hole in the Milky Way and nearby the galaxy and to help shed uh, light on how these mysterious objects form and involve. Okay, next, uh, okay, the picture okay, the picture is a composite view of extreme molecular gas and warm ionized gas near the galactic center. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.